everyone. I am so delighted to be giving you a sneak peek at this beautiful, smart, funny book with tons and tons of STEM. And STEM stands for science, technology, engineering, and math. And they're trying to do STEAM, which includes the arts, but they keep forgetting how important the arts are. Because without the arts, we don't have stuff like this. Anyway, let's let's get started. Um, and I, what I want to share with you is a little bit about the process of making this book and also about um, the story and the art. And I'm going to try and keep it as short as possible. So I'm great at uh, editing other people's manuscripts to get them really, really short and some of my own. But it's, I do tend to be a long runway person, <laughs> meaning my plane takes a long time to land if I'm not careful. So here's the front and back covers. This little rectangle here is where the barcode is going to be. Um, this is formatted right now as a PDF. And with the actual book, there'll be a lot more art all around this to account for the wraparound of the art, the printed art on the cardboard cover, which gives you a nice hard cover. And uh, Courtney took our writing course, I think it might have just been last year, last year or the year before, and Saki took our illustration course. And as you may know, I love working with my students because they're well-trained and because I love them. You know, uh, and I've been criticized for this, and I don't care. You know, I want to work with people that I love and that I know can do the job. So, as you can see, this is really, really adorable. The sun is personified because it's a slightly egotistical first person account, and that sun really has a really, really good self esteem. And yeah, and then we've got these characters that appear throughout the book as well, adding another layer. Over here in the thumbnails, you can see that Saki has an animation background because it's as if um, it's a sequence. So we see the sun rising and then we see this little girl looking up. So let's scroll down. So here is the CIP information, which stands for Congress in Publication, and this still needs to be filled out by Kelly at Clearfork Publishing. And this is where the dedications will go as well, I think. Let me just go to the end really quickly. Um, yeah, because this is the very end, and I don't want to spend too much time here, because um, I want you to buy this book. <laughs> so we need pictures here. Uh, of both the author and the illustrator. So that means at the very front where we have the CIP info, uh, that's where the dedications will go. And it's pretty lovely. Uh, one little correction for Saki is that we've got this strange little circle here and we want it to be as symmetrical as possible even though it is on a diagonal which tends to make it more exciting. Oh no, here's the dedications here. So I guess it's just going to be like this with all this uh, beautiful negative space. Uh, at the final step, I might uh, space this out a little more uh, and might have the Spork logo here. We'll see. That's the next step. So really sweet. We've got a glossary in the front because it bugs me that glossaries are in the back because you need to know the stuff before you read the book. But you can see, you know, all this info has been um, made into very child-friendly, um, you know, minimal text. Uh, and the language is at, at, a, at a kid level. And these are, you know, these are difficult concepts. But I think that Courtney... Um, and I <laughs> did a great job of, of getting this language to be much more accessible. So you can see that this sun 
has gobs of personality and character. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm the sun, a glorious star. Not a fashionable and famous person from the movies, but an actual star. A self-luminous, gaseous, spheroidal, celestial body of great mass, which produces energy. By means of nuclear fusion reactions, or more simply, dot, 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 page turn, an object in your sky that sends out heat and light. So I'm not going to go through the whole thing because there you can pre-order this um, and then it won't be too long before you get your copy. Um, one little thing that Saki uh, keeps forgetting is she needs to straighten this, you know, um, thermometer up just a little bit. But she might like it in that funky way, but I would like it straightened because I have a tiny amount of OCD, um, which makes me really good at my job because I can sort of, I kind of have razor focus in that way, especially, you know, especially with little things like this. <laughs> but look at the average. I'm, I'm average size compared to all these other stars. I'm also a cooler color. Weird, huh? So just great, really sort of accessible, personal language. I love this illustration. It's totally masterful or mistressful. Uh, one of the things I asked uh, Saki to do was just to round the horizon, just to make that shape a little more organic because organic shapes are so much more satisfying than angular shapes. Uh, so just phenomenal. And this is one of my favorites because I'm just in love this, with this character. And I'm just going to quickly scroll down. There's so much fantastic stuff. And um, Courtney and I talked quite a bit about making sure that all this was culturally sensitive. Um, and I can't remember if she already had Australians. I think she did. I think that it was Aboriginal people. And I think um, Koori or Indigenous Australians don't really like, generally, don't like being called um, Aboriginal. Um, and we wanted to be a little more specific rather than Native American, but it's, it's just fantastic. The book has so many levels. Another level, um, we had a little bit of information on scientists, but then we really built it up, and Courtney did all the research on this, and she and Saki and I went back and forth to get this really fantastic um, and, and to have it be logical. It's pretty amazing, isn't it? It's just absolutely stunning. So I'm not going to give any more away. I will share the pre-purchase link so that you can get it hot off the press. <laughs> just quick scroll just to tempt you more. But it's masterful. And this is where fiction meets science. There's a ton of science in here and a ton of information, but there's so much heart and soul and spirit and humor. I mean, wow, what's not to love with this the sun that's sleeping at night and awake during the day? I mean, yeah, <laughs> it's really, it's really, really cool. Um, so I hope you'll buy this. I'll, I hope you'll ask your local libraries to buy it once it out once it's out and that you will love this book and Courtney and Saki as much as I do. Thank you. Bye for now.